You might not think of Iowa as quintessential wine country, but the state has seen incredible growth in vineyards, wineries, and Iowa wine. Iowa has become very active in in the the wine game. I mean, there's a lot of wineries here, you know, and it's remarkable, it's it's an amazing growth. I think it's uh, in many ways because of Iowa's agricultural heritage. People are looking for other products and, and, you know, value-added products like, like wine in which you grow grapes and then convert it into something even, hopefully, even better. Like a fresh tomato or strawberry at the farmer's market, a regional wine will provide a flavor unique to its area. Many of the best local wines are entered into the Mid-American Wine Competition. Since 2008, this event has been judging wines in a unique format. Yeah, one of the iterations of of the Mid-American Wine Competition is that we allow wines to have their wines tasted with food, which is how most people drink wine, you know, with the food. So so we, we select really kind of basic food types like grilled hamburger and smoked ribs and, and, you know, chocolate brownie and stuff like that. Just just really straightforward food that everybody knows what it tastes like. And then we allow the wineries and the, and the winemakers to say, I want this wine, I want this particular wine from my winery to be tasted with this particular food. And sometimes they choose well, and sometimes they don't choose so well, you know, but that's part of the learning curve as well. But I think it's a, it's a fun iteration. I think it's also a, the fairest way to evaluate a wine. A successful winery is a labor of love with a heavy helping of determination to get those good wine grapes, even in Iowa's diverse weather. The climate is a big factor. The climate limits what varieties or cultivars you can grow. And so we can't grow, you know, Merlot because it won't make it through the winter here. We have a really cold climate. Our winter temperatures are really low. These grapes can withstand low temperatures like minus 20 to minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So these grapes can withstand cold temperature and still produce quality grapes and therefore quality wine. But the other factor is that with climate, it's not just the winter, it's also the length of the season. We do have a challenge sometimes to keep our vines in balance, and, and balance is getting the right ratio of fruit to foliage. You have too much fruit, too little foliage, the fruit doesn't ripen. Too much foliage, too little fruit, and the fruit's in the shade, and, and it doesn't ripen well. With every grape in every place, you've got to learn a whole new set of practices, and these things happen by trial and error, and the trials and the errors happen basically once a year at harvest. So the, the, the learning curve is very slow. It's very, very, you know, g- gradual curve. So um, you've got to pick uh, the, the, the grape you're going to grow here very carefully and cautiously, frankly. Of, of all the grapes around, you try to make wine from them, and the ones that make good wine are the ones you keep, and you make them over and over and over again. Those are good wine grapes. As Iowa's wine industry continues to mature with more quality grapes, the local wines will comprise more of the market. A lot of room to grow, and these varieties are new, and we have some nice varieties coming online. So as we uh, learn about these varieties and figure out the best way to grow and figure out the best way to make wine, uh, we'll have a tremendous uh, increase in the quality of wine. I've seen Iowa wines improve. We're getting more wineries, but we're getting better wineries and, and better wines as well. Iowa is, has got a terrific future in wine. Um, every year that I've been here, I see better and better and better Iowa wines. But in a quality thing, uh, Iowa is going by leaps and bounds.